Good afternoon. We're so glad you're here. Video daily vlogs. If you like this video, come on back tomorrow. But make sure you watch today's video because today is our celebration of being best friends for do you know how many years? Twelve. Twelve years we've been best friends. We'll tell you the story later. That's why we got this the Brokar Project playlist on Spotify. It's all of our best friend songs, so you can check it out. Brokar Project, Spotify. A little leftover smorgasbord, unintentionally like full of carbs, but the leftover potatoes from yesterday, and then we put the leftover mushrooms on some pasta. So we are out of the house. We're at 7-Eleven now. Um, we did need to get some gas. We haven't gotten gas in forever. It's crazy. Um, but we are getting some Slurpees because of it being our best friend anniversary. Um, Peter and I would always go and get Slurpees that summer that we were just friends before we started dating. And we would get baby bottle pops, and so we're getting both to celebrate today. Um, the reason that it's today is because Peter and I had a bunch of classes together, but we sat next to each other in our chemistry class in our junior year of high school. And actually, we, we really sat back there alone because we understood the material and our teacher said, just go to the back of the classroom and work together. So that's why me and Peter became friends was because we both understood and we just, our teacher told us to go and we spent a lot of time together then. And so, I had a pencil case, and on May 13th, he wrote, um, remember May 13th, BFF with Peter. I think I have a picture of it somewhere that I'll be able to put in here. Um, which is funny because he put remember in 2010 because that would have meant we would graduate, and I was always like, if we're gonna be best friends forever, then I don't need to remember it at graduation. Like, I'll remember this for always. Um, because we're gonna keep being friends and so that is where this anniversary came from it wasn't until oh my goodness that was actually our that was our sophomore year of high school I'm sorry so that was yeah that was our sophomore year of high school holy smokes and then we didn't get together until we were juniors got him this is the smallest slurpee we could get for you okay and Thank I got you, you a blue. We're, we're looking at our my sugar intake. I told the story. Of these? Yeah. Nice. You say we have to go run an errand now on our best friend anniversary and get you more prenatals? No, I didn't. Yeah. Let's go. Let's do it. A younger and less self-controlled Peter would be in trouble right now. Came to Target to pick up some prenatals for Sarah, but five dollar mugs. Particularly Peter. Crazy. Oh, Peter's coming in from from Target, but I'm watching Andrew live. Decided to show Peter Baldwin Park. What do you think? It's got what's that other neighborhood that I had like the Halloween 5K in? It's got um, like a mix of that and celebration. College park? Yeah, it's got like a college park celebration vibe to it so far. I knew it. I knew it. Everything looks so familiar because that this that was where he had his run. This is where the uh, see the provisions and buzz. Yeah. Subway. The street that I'm on. This was closed, and like I walked up and we ran. For it was the Halloween race, Halloween right? Halloween 5K. Yeah. It wasn't in College Park. Silly me. And I'm like, this place looks so familiar. That is a big old lake. Oh, and now she's tired. We've been playing like crazy animals. Oh gosh. Go get him. Go get him. Go. Go find him. Go find him. Oh gosh. Go get him. She knows now. <laughs> She's tired now. She jumped off the side of the couch like a crazy kid. I think we'll need to rest and watch Ant Man. Okay. I'm going for, I think, a six mile run tonight. I'll do yoga when you go. So the question is do we read right now because I'm like infatuated with Bob Iger's book or do we watch Ant Man? I want to go outside. 
<laughs> Either way, that girl's not going to bug us because she is exhausted. <laughs> um. You breathing heavy enough, Everson? <laughs> we can read. Let's read. It's that time of the evening, about 9.30 time. Um, time to... I'm going to go out and run because I do not like those... Eve's thirsty from giving her pretzels, so I need to feed her water. Um, I can't handle those HIT classes, those high-intensity interval training classes. So, oh, I just poured a bunch of water on Eve. You're going to run. So I'm going to go on a run. I'm going to think... Depending on how I feel, I think I'm going to go for six, but I'm at least going to go for four. But it all depends on weather and how I feel out there. I also, like... When you think about it, I've only stopped one day since like today makes seven days like tomorrow's thursday i started the four by four by 48 challenge last thursday so i did like the four by four by 48 i took sunday off i take monday off too no i took sunday and monday so i had two days off so that's fine all right i need to go i've spent the last 40 minutes texting my friend steve and talking to sarah about potential openings coming up around memorial day weekend here in all that central florida and now I'm like sad it's 10.15 and I'm going to go on my run. Before I'd be like, oh, there's curfew. I can't go run. Yeah. Now there's no curfew. I watched a vlog like a week ago that I happened like when I was looking at clips for old running vlogs. And there was one day at the old apartment, I went out for a run at 12.40 in the morning. I went out and did two miles. <laughs> like we got back from like a late night of like, we probably got home at like 12.10. We're chit-chatting, trying to figure out what we're going to do. Like just like saw Eve, took her outside or whatever, and shouldn't have said it that way. She probably could have heard she and she's too busy licking Sarah's shin. But she could have gotten freaked out just now. Um, but yeah, I went out and I remember like seeing it. It was like the last run before I think maybe Dopey 2018 or something or 2019. And I was like, yeah, it's 1240. I'm going to go out and do a quick two miles. And I came back and of course it was like a thousand degrees outside and humid. But I did that. That was ridiculous. So I need to go run and get it over with. This lighting is weird because there's no light in baby's room yet, but um, the connecting bathroom, I just have the door open and that light on. So ever since last night, I started doing yoga in here. I've been doing my stretching in here. Um, I feel like it's a good way to just use this room and um, be aware of why I'm doing the stretching and the yoga and kind of motivates me to like keep it up and I think more importantly that it has been giving me a an extra little connection with our little baby um, it's tough in the early stages one as I'm navigating um, the anxieties that I've talked about before but also without a big belly or without being able to really feel the baby I've, I've been able to feel like little kicks and flutters um, but again not not the same is further on in the pregnancy and this way I feel like I am connecting with them as I'm doing you know my stretches and breathing and getting strong for them so I'm going to do that while Peter's out and I'll probably have a little doggy visitor in here with me um, but yeah I'm excited because I'm feeling unmotivated but I know I'll feel good once I'm done feel good opted for a four mile run today and I was so nervous because it was so late and because I was so sore like in pain from those two hit classes but I'm using still some knowledge from my buddy Steve when he was explaining the difference is that as you guys know I'm not a traditional athlete I didn't do athletics in high school or college I don't know how to do gym things or stuff like that and he explained it that explained it that those hick interval classes are anaerobic strength training, which I do need for my core and everything to be a good, have good form and to keep an overall health for a runner trying to run seven marathons in seven days. But that does not do the same kind of workout as an aerobic workout, like running constantly to build your aerobic base. I want to come here and get a tattoo on my arm. Um, but what I didn't realize or I didn't spit was that a lot of the muscles I was working yesterday are way different than the muscles I work running 
right now to the point where I almost don't feel the pain that I do. I mean, I have the pain still on my arms and chest and everything from that, from that hit, from those hit videos. But when I'm running, I don't feel that because it's all leg really. I mean, it's not the same kind of workout and pain that I have when I do those classes, but time to get at it. Gotta finish this run and get home because it is getting late. She is loyally waiting for Peter. I finished my yoga. Um, I guess I haven't really filmed much of it, but I am sticking to like simple yoga to get it started back up again. I used to do more intense yoga, but because I took that active activity break, I want to like um, just ease back into it. Plus, like most pregnancy yogas are a little bit more low key. Um, but yeah, so I'm not like super sweaty when I'm done. Like I feel worked, but I don't feel gross. Like I have to shower. Peter just got home though. He's gonna have to shower. Ooh, it's way too late, but I drank my, my, my sleepy tea. Gosh, what's today? Today's May 13th. Today's by the Dalai Lama. Be kind whenever possible. It's always possible. I joined Sarah like halfway through watching The Florida Project, which we haven't seen since the movies, I think. Did we see it in the movies? I thought we watched it at our house. I think we saw it in the movies because at the end, oh, when it ended, I was like, ah. And it's hard because it's a sad portrayal of real life scenarios, but then it gets weird in the last like three minutes. Yeah, but overall, like a good, good light to shed. Yeah. Come sign off with me. We've been best friends for 12 years. Wow. It's good to be home. It's good to be home. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions.